Hello guys! Today in this video, I want to show you one of the best setups that will definitely help you to pass hard chapters and defeat tough bosses. Moreover guys, this setup can literally make you immortal. If you don't believe me guys, then watch this video till the end. I will show you that with the right hero, with the right equipments and with the right skills, you'll be able to pass hard chapters to defeat really tough bosses with low attack. So guys, to prove it, to show you that this setup is really that good, I'm playing Trials Chapter 80 with almost 32,000 attack and with almost 110,000 health. I decided to play Chapter 80 because in this chapter, as the final boss, we have one of the hardest bosses. Maybe for someone the hardest. The final boss will be Captain, and most of you know that this boss is really tough, and he shoots a lot of bullets plus missiles. But before we meet him, and you'll see why I call this setup Immortal, I want to tell you what to choose and explain why. The first what you need, you need catnips, because catnips has a needed skill. His exclusive skill is Medidron, which releases healing zones. These healing zones can heal you and your pet. You just need to stand in that circle. And if you want your pet to be healed, then your pet must be in that healing zone as well. The next what you need, you need two equipments, Wave Sensor and Light Runners. Wave Sensor will reduce receive damage on 20% when your health is below 50%, and Light Runners will do the same, but for 3 seconds and after you will receive damage. As a result, with these equipments, you can reduce receive damage on 40%. I know guys what you're going to say, that the first damage will not be reduced on 20%, and to get 20% reduction, your health must be below 50%. Moreover, some bosses can kill you in one or two shots, so this equipment looks useless. So to make them useful with low health, we're going to choose the right skills. From weapon skills, perfectly, I recommend you to use Light Chaser, because Light Chaser's supply skill is Ronin Suit, and as you know, Ronin Suit reduced receive damage and up to 50%. To survive all these ways with Light Chaser and low attack, you need Power Bullet and Force Field. With Force Field to make Force Barrier, you will need Energy Drink. Power Bullet will increase your attack on 50%, Force Barrier will slow enemies, and Energy Drink will be restoring your health. And of course guys, how catnips without his drones, without Medi Drone. Perfectly, you need to make Divine Destroyer, but it's not really needed, you can win without Divine Destroyer. What you really need is Medidron and one of these two drones. In this run I had 3 drones, but eventually guys, I made only Inquisitor, not Divine Destroyer. For those who doesn't know, it's a drone, which you can make when your catnips is 3 stars. To make this drone, you need Medidron and Drone Type A. So when you'll have them both 5 stars, you'll be able to make Inquisitor. It's just a combination of many drone and drone type A, nothing more. And the last needed skill, the last needed supply skill is Fitness Guide. With Fitness Guide, you increase your health on 100%. Besides these 4 supply skills, I recommend Ninja Skull and Energy Cube. Ninja Skull, because in hard chapters, when your attack and health are really low, it will help you to gain more skills. As a result, all your supply skills can be 5 stars and all your weapon skills can be evolved. Energy Cube, I think you know why, to shoot more projectiles per minute. If you're not using Light Chaser, for example you're using Void Power, then Exoskeleton you can get instead of, for example, Energy Cube, but not instead of Fitness Guide or Ronin Suit. Ok guys, that's all about the setup. Now, as I promised you, I will show you why this setup is one of the best. Look at my health, look at my attack, and I'm fighting with Captain. Look what a small amount of damage I'm receiving, and how healing is working greatly. Most of these bullets I'm receiving on purpose, just to show you that even if you're not a pro player, even if you're, if it's hard for you to dodge all, to avoid all these projectiles, all these bullets, 
With this setup, even the hardest bosses will be possible for you to beat them. Yes guys, with this setup, I was fighting with that boss over 5 minutes, but watch this video till the end, and you will understand why I call this setup immortal.